hey guys what is up this is amir and you are watching electrical infinity in this video i am going to explain you about the control circuit diagram of apfc panel theoretically along with practical explanation of apfc panel basically apfc panels are of two types one with push button and the second one is without push button the second one is very easy compared to the first one but once you watch this video completely you will be able to understand the control circuit diagram of both panels so without any further delay let's begin it apfc panel with push button has seven main components first one is circuit breaker second one is auto manual switch for switching between auto and manual mode third one is auto manual contactors fourth one is on off push buttons fifth one is capacitor duty contactor which we call as cdc's sixth one is on indicator and the last one is bus bars and wires for wearing off this panel to the r phase i am connecting a 6 ampere single pole mcb in this panel and from this circuit breaker i am connecting this phase to a auto manual selector switch as you can see here this auto manual selector switch is used for switching between auto and manual mode in this panel so as you can see from this mcb 6 ampere single pole mcb i am taking a wire out labeled as r2 and connecting it to auto manual selector switch and this one is also tagged as r2 and from these there are two outputs number two and three two is used for auto and three is used for manual mode as you can see from each of these terminal two wires are being taken out this is how the auto manual selector switch looks from the outside from this auto terminal of auto manual selector switch two wires are taken out one of the wire is connected to auto contactor which is used for auto switching and other wire is connected to common terminal of APFC relay. This auto contactor is used for auto switching of capacitors in these panels. The A2 terminal of this contactor is connected to neutral. So two wires are taken out, one is connected to auto contactor and other is connected to common terminal of APFC relay. So you can have a view from this panel from terminal number two it is connected to common terminal of apfc relay as i zoom the camera you can see it is connected to common terminal c terminal of apfc relay so two wires are taken out one is connected to common and other wire is connected to as you can see here a1 a1 of the auto contactor this is a auto contactor here you can see on the on the right side and it is connected to A1 of this auto contactor. And here you can see this is a neutral wire A2. And from this A2 terminal, it is connected to neutral. From manual terminal of auto manual selector switch, two wires are taken out. One of the wire is connected to manual contactor A1. And from the A2 of this manual contactor, it is connected to neutral. Another wire from this manual terminal is not connected directly to APFC relay but it is connected via off push button, on push button and NOS of all the contactors. So from 3 it is connected to off push button, on push button, NO of CDC. This is off push button, on push button and here you can see this is NO of manual contactor, the contactor which we are using here. Right? This is NO of auto contactor, this is of this contactor A and this CDC no is a uh, no of this uh, capacitor duty contactor below here let me explain you this part clearly from manual terminal two wires are taken out one is connected to a1 of manual contactor <coughs> from a2 it is connected to neutral right and another wire from this terminal is connected to off push button as you can see this one is off push button As you can see the terminal for manual is tagged as 3 from these two wires are taken out one of the wire is connected to this contactor a1 of this manual contactor this one on extreme right is a manual contactor and a2 is neutral and this neutral is connected to the neutral link second wire from this auto manual selector switch manual terminal which is terminal number three is connected to off push button and here you can see this one is also tagged as three after this two wires are taken out from off push button and this is tag as 4 as you can see from this terminal it is connected to on push button and 
the second wire from this terminal number 4 is connected to NO of CDC1 which is capacitor duty contactor as you can see so showing you practically here you can see two wires are taken out from this off push button as you can see tag as 4 one of the wire is connected to on push button as I have shown you in the circuit diagram and another wire is connected to you know, of capacitor duty contactor these are the CDC's as you can see here this is the contactor C1 and I know of this contactor is here in a CDC1 all right after that after that from this on push button we have to connect it to CDC two wires are taken out so we can do it vice versa we can take two wires out from this CDC one of the wires should is connected to on push button and other wire is connected to I know of this manual contactor as you can see here this is uh, the manual contactor and I know of this manual contactor is here so from on push button we are connecting it to CDC and from CDC to I know of manual contactor showing you practically again so that it will be easy to understand for you you can see this is the terminal number 5 and it is uh, NO of CDC F two wires are taken out from this CDC one of the wire is connected to on push button as you can see and other wire is connected to NO of this manual contactor as you can see from CDC NO it is connected to NO of manual contactor from terminal number 6 of manual NO we have to take out two wires and we have to connect it to A1 of uh, capacitor duty contactor as well as to NO of auto contactor or else we can do it vice versa like from terminal number 6 we have to connect it to NO of auto contactor and from NO we can connect it to A1 of capacitor duty contactor so you can see this NO we are using is of auto contactor as you can see from this NO of manual contactor we are connecting it to NO of auto contactor from this NO of man auto contactor, we are connecting this to A1 of capacitor duty contactor. As you can see here, this one is a capacitor duty contactor and you can see in extreme bottom, there is a terminal tag as 6 and this is the A1 terminal of capacitor duty contactor here. Later on, the A2 terminal of capacitor duty contactor is connected to neutral. And the NO terminal from this is connected to APFC relay terminal 1. So as you can see here these are the terminals of NO of auto NO C1, C2, C3, C4, C5 and these are connected to APFC relay terminals R1, R2, R3, R5, R6, R7. So as you can see I have connected here these terminals from NO of auto contactor after that we have to connect a lamp from uh, the A1 terminal of capacitor duty contactor as you can see and another terminal of uh, on indicator uh, I am connecting it to neutral so again we are taking one wire out from A1 terminal of capacitor duty contactor this is CDC1 and we are connecting it to on indicator here you can see this is tag as 6 and one of the another wire of on indicator is connected to neutral as you can see this is the neutral of this on indicator for example if I am using four capacitors in this panel I have to use four CDC's so for using four CDC's I have to use four of these setups and I can loop these four setups via off push button terminal number three. So for for four capacitors, we have to use four CDCs, and these are the setups, and we can loop it with the help of terminal number three of off push button. These are the four setups for using four CDCs, and you can see here in this panel, I am using four capacitor duty contactor here. In order to connect these four sets. We have to connect it via off push button terminal number 3. So as you can see from terminal number 3 of off push button I am connecting it to another off push button and similarly I am continuing it to uh, setup number 3 and setup number 4. 
so explaining you everything in practically so that it is easy for you to understand you can see from terminal number three i am looping it to all off push buttons so from three to three from three to another off push button and from this off push button to the off last off push button as you can see on the previous video of explaining the wearing of this panel i got uh, comments of people like uh, i should explain with the circuit diagram too so that's why i plan to explain it with the circuit diagram so uh, after that we have to connect all the ano terminal to apfc relay as i have shown you earlier from c1 c2 c3 c4 of auto ano to the apfc relay r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 terminals these are the lamps four lamps we are using for these four sets I have shown you the wiring of these lamps clearly from A1 of capacitor to deconductor we are connecting it to lamp. When you put this panel in auto mode with the help of auto selector switch it is connected to APFC relay and we can set it up in APFC how much power factor we want and when we are using it in manual mode we have to turn it on using on push button and whenever we turn it on with the on push button all the NOS will turn to NC normally open will turn to normally close and this will form a closed circuit leading to handling of capacitors manually important point to be noted is that we can connect maximum 8 CDCs to this APFC relay these are the auxiliary supply terminal of APFC relay which is 415 volts and we have to connect two phases to it as you can see I am connecting two phases and these are S1 S2 terminal connected via CT so I am quickly going to explain you about APFC panel without push button. We are using here like uh, auto manual selector switch in this panel mostly. So for three CDCs we are using three uh, auto manual selector switch and one main auto manual selector switch. So from 6 ampere MCB we are connecting it to main auto manual selector switch and after that we have to connect it to uh, uh, three auto manual selector switch for three CDCs I am using here. right? So from auto terminal it is connected directly to common terminal of APFC relay but from manual terminal it is connected to auto manual selector switch again and from this auto manual selector switch it is connected to A1 of contactors capacitor duty contactor these auto terminals are connected to APFC relay and these manual terminals of all these auto manual selector switch are looped to each other so to operate this panel in manual mode this is how the APFC panel without push button looks so this is the APFC relay for operating it in auto and manual mode and these are the auto manual selector switch with just on indicator there is no push buttons in this panel and the wiring of this panel is pretty easy compared to the previous one that's all in this video guys hope you have liked my new way of explaining all this electrical stuff thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel electrical infinity to learn electrical up to infinite